Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody <clears throat> is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of, Light, Tarot of Light. I am posting all 12 signs on there right now. I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel. The links to those are below. Readings can be vice versa please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced i do a monthly giveaway i give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals so hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below if you don't mind winning any one of those things you could hashtag the word all okay um if you're looking to start a tarot channel or learn how to read tarot, you could check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. It's about two and a half hours long. If you would like to book a reading, the link is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, um, Spirit Shield Oracle and Tarot are currently buy one, get one free. Okay, so it's a big BOGO sale. Royal Rose Tarot is 20% off. And this one is... Um, low in stock and then raven's rose oracle is out of stock unfortunately hopefully we will get that back in stock soon <clears throat> okay spirit tell me about my beautiful cancer babies spirit tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus please what energy is cancer's person sitting in please spirit what energy is cancer's person sitting in please oh my gosh Oh, Malanta. Okay, so we've got Reconcile. We have Obsessed and Dominant. Cancer, there's someone that's losing their mind over you. Could be friend, could be family member, could be an ex, okay? Very controlling and forceful energy. This person is stalking you. They're infatuated with you. This person is obsessed with the fact that if you guys reconcile, it'll be different now because this person has grown or changed. Um, I don't feel like this person is saying no, is gonna take no for an answer, Cancer. Um, it says here, I have a strong personality. I am not flexible and I do not bend. Mm -mm. <laughs> this person, you know, so it's like this person just is not taking no for an answer. That's it. That's just the way it is. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Cancer, you don't even think of this. Per think of a person that you don't ever think of anymore. Like you are not even <clears throat> thinking of this person anymore. They're coming around with an apology. And I feel like it's been a minute since you have been with this person. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Tell me about Cancer. Page of Wands. And the star, we could be dealing with an Aquarius. So Cancer, this is someone that wants to talk. They want to see where your head's at. They want to see if you've healed from what happened between you guys in the past. This person may tell you the star card talks about divine guidance, right? So think of like the North Star in the Bible. So this person may tell you, you know, I keep hearing your name everywhere or I keep hearing our song or I keep, you know, like they may tell you that things are like reminding them of you type of thing. Tell me about cancer, please. The Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. Cancer, if you at one point or another manifested for this person to see your worth it's happening but it's going to happen when you did not expect it to happen at all i feel that you guys might talk cancer and you may tell this person that you've been you know the empress is a master manifester wheel of fortune is manifestations coming in the star card um you know cancer you may be really excited maybe you start a business maybe you bought a house maybe you got a new job maybe you graduated from school maybe you got a new car i don't know okay but i feel like you're just really excited over here and living your life and this person 
it's like they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're who they want to be with um but i think that i think Cancer with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if you're tired of being alone here or if you're kind of saying, listen, I've got enough on my plate. One of those two. You're either you're either tired of being alone and you may actually, um, you know, be accepting of this or, which I feel is the stronger one, you have enough on your plate as it is. I think that with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles here, Cancer, you may offer this person friendship. Whatever you tell this person that you have going on, they're like in just cloud nine. Like, you know, they they were coming back for you before they even knew what you had going on. But I feel like this is someone that definitely sees, you know, wants you to be in their life. They want, you know, husband, wife type energy, you know, with the judgment card and the six of cups cancer. I feel like this person initially will take any type of reconciliation they can get with you. So if you offer just friendship, then that's what they'll do. But I don't feel like this person's going to stop trying to get you into bed with the Ace of Wands. And I don't feel that they're, you know, they're going to cross friendship boundaries, you know, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands here because they want you, Cancer. So you can never be just friends with this person. I'm actually hearing a country song. Um, oh God, I don't remember the name of the song. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Oh my God, it's playing like so loud in my head. Hmm. Uh, no. No. Gosh, I don't remember the name of the song, but it's basically like if you think we could just be friends, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be friends. Oh, gosh. Maybe this is it. I don't remember the name of the song. My gosh. I know it's on here somewhere, but I don't, I, I literally do, cannot remember the title. I really just can't remember the name with, uh, of the title, but it's basically a song that's saying, you know, if you really think we could be friends, I don't want to be friends. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh gosh, what, how else does it go? Um, something about like you're not going to be the love song guys if you know it post it you 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 know if you keep basically like if you keep pushing me away you know you're not going to be the love song that I'm, I'm singing when I'm out drinking I can't remember the name of the song but anyways uh, you know this is someone that you can never just be friends with let me put it to you that way okay this is someone that with the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles cancer you know and the moon card you know if you're if you're telling this person, I have too much on my plate, I am not trying to be in a relationship with nobody, I don't need any stress in my life, this person will say okay. But with the moon card, their true intentions are ace of wands, ace of cups, ace of pentacles, baby, you know, and they're going to continue with the knight of wands and the knight of cups to say and do inappropriate things. Okay. This person's going to be ass grabbing. They may snatch a titty from an every no, every so often. This person is going to do things that friends should not do. Okay. I mean, this is someone that is, you know, they're going to make it clear. I want more, you know, with the Justice card here and the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer, I do feel like this is somebody that's wanting to come back and balance out the scales and do the right thing. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse with the Queen of Wands. 
Cancer, you thought this person was with a queen of wands. You thought this person was with a third party. You don't even think of this person anymore. And with the page of wands and the three of pentacles, this person comes in, they're talking to you and everything. For you with the world card, it's over. So I don't think that you necessarily mind being friends with this person. Because with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Wands here, I feel that you're sitting in an energy where you're being blessed and you're not going to let anyone come into your life. You're not, you're not even thinking about love. But with the Empress here and the King of Pentacles, if you were to be with someone, they would have to at least be sitting in King of Pentacles energy and you do not see this person as a King of Pentacles. Do you understand <clears throat> that you don't see them as an Emperor or a King of Pentacles? You know, so you're not really worried about it. You're fine being friends with them. Nine of pentacles here and the nine of swords. Cancer, I feel like you're going through a lot. You're in master manifestation mode. You could be working a lot of hours. You know, I mean, listen, guys, when we manifest, when we manifest, things don't just drop on our head. We have to work and align ourselves to receive it. So whatever you have going on right now, Cancer, you've got a lot of blessings coming into your life, but that wheel of fortune energy can come with a lot of upheaval, okay? So, you know, let's just say you're building a house or you're moving or you started a new business. You are stressed the F out. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you don't have the time. You know, you don't have the time for nobody unless someone's going to come in and help. You're not uh, 10 of wands here and the two of pentacles. You're juggling too much. You're too busy. I don't have the time. Do you understand? So to hold on to you, Cancer, with the four of pentacles energy, this person will agree to be friends. Do you understand? But as far as you're concerned with the 10 of swords and the queen of cups, this person hurt you to the point where you don't ever see reconciliation with this person. But I promise you that with the judgment card and the six of wands, this person has it in their head that they are going to win you back. With the nine of cups and the six of cups, this person has no intention. They do not see failure in their future. Okay. <laughs> failure is not an option. You know what I'm saying? Um, they know that they will get their wish fulfillment. Okay. Okay. With the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, this person is going to say very sexual things to you. They're going to be complimenting you, grabbing body parts that are off limits. We don't touch our friends who has, okay? <laughs> we do not, do not. I just heard someone say, did you just Donald Trump? Me? I shouldn't say that, okay? But anyways, you know, we don't touch our friends' private parts, okay? Stop doing that. With the, with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, Cancer, this is someone that's going to make it very clear that they want a relationship with you. With the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands, this person is not going to be hiding their boner, okay, for you. That's not going to happen. They're going to make it clear that shit is on and popping in their pants, okay? This person is going to be very straightforward. You got four, you got four Aces here. You got four aces here, okay? I mean, this person is serious. With the ace of cups and temperance, they're going to be patient. But with the sun card, they know that eventually they're going to win. Like this person, you know, tell me about the ace of pentacles and the five of cups. I do feel here, Cancer, that this person does feel bad for whatever they did to you. I do feel that this person feels that you are deserving of more. I do feel that this person is going to really see with the Eight of Swords how much they hurt you by leaving you hanging. They, it, it is going to make them feel bad, you know. Tell me about the moon card here and the king of wands, but that just makes them want you all the more with the king of wands and the devil here. Do you understand? It makes them with the five of swords want to fight harder with the chariot to come in and show you that they want to do right by you. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
I feel like Cancer with the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card, you were very loving and loyal towards this person. You were very giving, kind, and nurturing towards this person. You had this person's back when nobody else did. And with the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, this person just left you, maybe even for someone else. Seven of Cups, they left you to go pursue other options. Seven of Swords, this person cheated, lied, was deceptive. You know what I'm saying? Tower moment after tower moment. So they do understand why you're sitting in Queen of Swords energy. They do understand why you're sitting in Eight of Swords energy why you know you're able to forgive but not forget because you're trying to protect your energy and what like right now right now you have so much going on that you cannot afford to let someone toxic into your life and you see this person as toxic so they're gonna go along with your game you know what I'm saying but they failure is not in their future they do not see failure as an option they don't you know what I'm saying <clears throat> do we see this person winning do we see this person winning? Do we see Cancer being in a relationship with this person? We've got the Empress and the Knight of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. We've got the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel, Cancer, that this is someone that is going to pursue you relentlessly until you make the decision to build a future with them. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands with the Four of Wands. I don't really think you have a choice. I'm going to be honest with you. It's either you can reconcile with this person or you're just never going to get rid of them. You wake up, they're there outside the door. You go to bed, they're there and outside your window. Like, I mean... You know what I'm saying? This person, for as long as you need, that's fine. But this person's gonna, they're gonna be by your side morning, noon, and night, whether you're together or not. Do you understand? So, you know, whether you want to accept you're in a relationship or not is on you. But according to this person, you guys are together. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my loves.